A basketball court in San Juan, Puerto Rico acquires a new life after being revitalized. Former professional basketball player Joaquim Noah visited Puerto Rico to reinstate the space as part of an initiative of impacting communities in diverse countries. Francis Felix takes us there. Former NBA basketball player Joaquim Noah arrives at the island to inaugurate a revitalized court here at San Juan Municipality. Cancha Canal's Canal's Court was officially reinstated in one of the most visited neighborhoods in San Juan. Hennessy in the Pain is a global initiative that aims to reach into communities to revitalize neglected basketball courts. Cancha Canals is the first on the island to be revitalized and it's located in La Placita Santurce. Local artist Sergio Stoff was in charge of the arts of the new revitalized space, also called La Piscina, the pool. The initiative in Puerto Rico is part of a collaboration with the Rimas Foundation and the Puerto Rico Socioeconomic Development Department. This is an initiative that's dear to my heart. Um, bringing people together is something that's very important. Uh, it's getting harder and harder. People are very divided in a lot of ways. So doing this kind of work and bringing the community together through basketball and through art, I, I couldn't be more proud. Since the former NBA player Joaquim Noah culminated his career, he embraced the mission of impacting communities and giving new life to spaces dedicated to street basketball. Now he's the ambassador of this initiative that seeks to keep impacting communities. Uh, so giving back to them, you know, by uh, creating this field uh, was a very important and I, I would say even necessary uh, step, especially here in Puerto Rico. The first project of the initiative was completed in Nigeria, then Congo, Bahamas, and now Puerto Rico. You know, I feel like uh, in my past life I was Boricua, you know, because the energy over here is something I love. I think this initiative is beautiful, bringing the community together. Uh, Hennessy in the Paint does a beautiful job. The art is beautiful. And then one day the, the event will be done and you can see the kids like hanging out on the back and they'll be able to enjoy this beautiful court. Uh, we saw you, you were talking with some of the kids of the community, how you feel um, for them to be here and, you know, just wanting to reach a little bit and talk to you. Uh, I think that's what it's all about. You know, you just feel the hope and the happiness around this event and you can tell the community is gravitating towards it you can see the kids right outside just wanted to see a, be a part of it and uh, tomorrow when all this is done they'll have a beautiful court to play on kids and youth from the neighborhood came closer to meet the two-time nba all-star i grew up in this court um, i have always like come here and played basketball since i have been, since i started playing basketball and it's amazing now that I have such a beautiful court, I can play it every day. It's a former Defensive Player of the Year, two-time All-Star. What can I say? It's very amazing. For According to the Social Economic Development Department Director in Puerto Rico, there are 742 special communities with courts like this one in need of revitalization. Economic Development Department assures us that they will continue impacting communities all around Puerto Rico, revitalizing different spaces. Reporting from Santurce, Puerto Rico, Frances Felix for One Caribbean News.